Kabbalah means from mouth to ear. Thus, tradition. It is the passing on of sacred knowledge via a construct called Etzachayim, the tree of life, that is used to order its creative intelligences. Thus the tree of sacred knowledge that taught one how to live a holy life holds in its branches the secret history of humanity, the occult knowledge for soulful evolution and development, the power of magic and the tool to complete great creative feats which may alter the course of history itself. The Kabbalah is a system which gives divine access and communication through the creative intelligences that are the angels and their choirs to the one divine being. It utilizes divine names as formulas to isolate consciousness to the layers of the soul which can then be systematically developed. Each layer of the soul is indeed a layer of the cascading of creation as it pours forth from the divine being in the void to the manifestation of the earth and all upon it. From such a metaphysical construct great magical feats can be achieved. The Kabbalah has two major strains, Jewish Kabbalah and Hermetic Kabbalah. The Jewish line focuses on mystical studies with the Torah, Bahir, Zohar and the writings of the rabbis and is secular in nature. The Hermetic Kabbalah, forged during the Hellenic occupation of Israel, went on to become what is known as Western occultism, encompassing the tarot, astrology, alchemy, Gnosticism, and many of the orders of knights like the Templars. It passed on to encompass Roman Latin magic, Celtic magic, and inevitably led to the formation of the modern sciences. The Kabbalah which I have learnt as a whole system combines these two ancient strains, both Hebrew and Hermetic, to encompass a more thorough overall system of magic and the sacred arts. It includes sacred geometry, angelology, tarot, alchemy, talismanic magic, the study of Hebrew and scriptures, healing, symbolism and dreams, invocation and evocation, meditation, astral traveling, chanting in ancient holy languages, mystical prayer, Merkava and Hekalot mysticism, and much more. All for the act of Tikkunim, the ability to correct and adjust one's soul and its expression for one's improvement and betterment, thus attracting a more fulfilling life and satisfying relationships. The goal of practicing and studying Kabbalah is Shefa, abundance. Shefa is the ever merciful flow of health, prosperity, love and peace through the ever graceful, luminescent influence of the divine being upon and through the soul of the adept. <laughs>